So the question is, can the ColecoVision, or in this case, the Coleco Atom, actually mine a Bitcoin? Hi everybody, before I jump in showing you how this code works, I just wanted to give you a real brief explanation of what it's written in. All this code is written in straight Z80 assembler and then compiled into a cartridge. So there's no C involved, there's no other high level languages involved, it's just straight Z80 assembler. Probably the best way to program, get right to the machine. So without any further ado, here is Bitcoin Miner Demo. And I'm glad that the guy outside with the Harley Davidson wants his to me wants to let me know it's running. Could you give it a little bit more gas? He's got music on his Harley too. Idiot going to get a bagel. Anywho, without further ado, Bitcoin Miner. So once you turn it on, you get this nice little title screen. Shows a ColecoVision Bitcoin Miner Demo by 8BitMilly, copyright 2021 Coleco. Well, it's not copyrighted by Coleco, but that's stuck in the software, so we'll, we're living with that. Then it takes you over to this screen. This is where you could put in your starting hash. You could just leave it zeros, or you can put a hash in there if you wanted to play. There are some Easter eggs, and I'll tell you what those are later that you can put in here. But what you do in here is you use your controller, to move around to highlight the number that you want to change use your fire button to cycle through all the possibilities 0 through F it's a hexadecimal so it's 0 through 15 or 0 through half if you made a mistake if you put things in you didn't like you can hit the star key to erase it and when you're all done you would hit the pound key to go to the next screen on this screen, you let set the level of difficulty. The higher the number, the longer it will take to find a match. A number of value of 1, it'll find a match in less than 10 seconds. A value of 2, it may take anywhere from 20 seconds to a minute. A value of 3, well, I don't know, it could take minutes, it could take days. A value of 9, I don't think we have enough time in the universe for it. This is hashing at approximately four hashes per second. So do the math. If you run four hashes per second, yeah, it's a long time. So I'm going to start out with just giving it a hash value of one. So you can see what happens when we get a match. Because a value of one is going to find a match. Actually, you know what? First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start out with value nine so that I can explain the next screen. Then I'll come back and show you what happens when you hit it. So I'm going to do a value of 9. And it takes us to this screen. On the top left hand corner in green, that's my starting hash. The center is the current hash. And on the right hand side is the goal. By goal, we want to find a hash. We want to come up with a hash in the current hash that is less than the goal. So it has to have all those zeros and be less F or less in all the rest of the spots. Down below is how many years, days, hours, minutes, seconds, and tenths of a, uh, yes, tenths of a second, I'm sorry, that has gone by. And down below that is the nonce. That's the incrementing number. Now I'm going to go back to setup. I'm going to still leave this here. I'm not going to change that. I'm going to make it, I'm going to give it a value of one this time so you can see what happens when I mine a Bitcoin. So it's counting down. And see, I got a successfully matched one. If you look now, in my current, the first digit is a zero. And that means my current is less than my goal. So everything turns green. The clock stops. The nonce stops. I get coins falling down. It's like, make it rain. Here come the coins. And I successfully mined a coin. Now I'm going to... Re Go back to the main screen, reset the system, because it locks up there so that you can see it. Because it may take a long, long time for it to mine, and you don't want someone to come along and touch the joystick and have you realize you didn't mine a coin. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to, again, leave this hash the way it was. I'm going to make the difficulty a little harder this time. Well, maybe, what do I want to give? I'm going to give it a two, so I can do some explaining while it's hashing. 
So the way this system works, this is not exactly like the one that was made for the Commodore 64 or the other one that was made for the Game Boy. What this does is this is based on the proof of concept of the 15 line Python code that binds a Bitcoin. It doesn't communicate with any Bitcoin systems at all. It just wants to show that you could mine a Bitcoin. The way it does that, just as it does in that 15 line Python, is it starts out with a block number. In this case, I'm using five, just like he did in his. Then some transaction text. He had some text in there that shows fake transactions of Bitcoins moving around. My transaction text is 8 bit milli. Okay. I'm a little stuck on myself, I guess. And then the starting hash. In this case, the starting hash is all zeros. And the way the system works is you enter into your SHA 256 routine, which will take whatever you give it and return it with a 64 bit number. I'm sorry, a 256 bit number, which is 64 characters long in hex. So what we do is we enter in that routine and our nonce is zero, we start with zero, the nonce is tacked to the end of it. We SHA that block, and if that block starts with zeros that match our goal, then we're done. If not, we increment the nonce, SHA it again. I'm sorry, we take the, the hash that we got back that didn't match, replace the original hash, SHA it again, increment the nonce, SHA it again. I'll put some graphics on the screen so you can see this. SHA it again and check, did we get our goal? If we didn't, we continue to do this ad nauseum until the universe dies. So by having a level of nine here right now, the odds of us of us shying all this and coming up with starting out with eight zeros is basically impossible for the ColecoVision. How much we love it, it won't do it. We're doing, as I said, four hashes a second. The computers right now are doing billions of hashes a second and they are trying to go to a difficulty of 20 zeros and they take hours or days to get matches so our little ColecoVision is just not going to get there but technically it has the capability of doing it just will it ever get there probably not so I'm going to go back and I'm just going to change my goal a little bit I'm going to change my goal to I'm going to put it two this time so you see we got two zeros up there and it's going to keep going. It's going to try to find a hash that starts with two zeros. If it does, then it met the goal. And this time it met the goal in 39 seconds. Which means since we're doing four hashes a sec, or I'm sorry, you can see by the nonce it, tell, it met the goal in nine seconds. And we did that in four, uh, 39 nonces. Which, uh, four, five second, five per second. That is very good still. Let's just give it another one. We, we got one in two. And just to show you that, oh, I forgot. Once you mine a Bitcoin, you have to exit and come back. I forgot that you have to reset and come back in once you mine a Bitcoin. I still like the idea of it locking just in case. I may set mine up running with this. I don't know how long. I can run it in the emulator, run it slow and see how long it takes to mine maybe 50 or not 50 mine maybe five but i'm going to go in here i'm going to give it a hash or a difficulty of three now and see how lucky we get oh i'm sorry wait a minute let me go back i wanted to give it a difficulty of two and see if i got the same if i got my match in the same number of nonces which was 39 or if it takes longer this time see it takes longer this time 49 this time Hi everybody. While I'm reviewing the video, I realized that when I ran the second time with a difficulty of two and I got the different nonce value, I realized that the reason why I got that is not because there's any randomness involved. It's because I had started with a value of three, then jumped back to the main screen and my code wasn't clearing the starting hash, so it threw it off slightly. And I have to reset. All right, one more time back in. I'm going to do a nonce of, th or not a nonce, a difficulty of three and see what we get. Again, those of you who are out there snickering, 
This is proof of concept. You're not going to make any money off of this. But it does show you that it's possible to do this. The fascinating thing to me is not that it mines a Bitcoin. Really, I personally could care less if it mines a Bitcoin. The fascinating thing to me is that the Z80 processor can do a SHA-256 that quick. That's really awesome. I mean, this is running at a little less than 4 megahertz, or maybe maybe up to 4 megahertz. On a computer, because it's running ColecoVision, on a computer with 1K of RAM. And this code, with all the overhead of my graphics and my sprites and stuff I added in here, is less than 6K in size. If I remove the overhead, it's probably down to about 3K. And a big chunk of that is just my routines for doing things, setting up the display and stuff. If I stripped it down to just the SHA-256 and the base code to run it, I probably can get it down to less than 1K. I have been seriously tempted, and I may still make a version of this that will run on the ZX81 with 1K of memory maybe 2k of memory because it does need yeah it would have to be 2k of memory at least because it does mm -hmm. need about half a k of memory just for storing what it's working on so here we are we're running out of difficulty of three and it hasn't found any matches yet after a minute and 25 seconds minute and 27 I could let it keep running but I want to show you some easter eggs so we'll go ahead and stop this and I'm going to show you some Easter eggs, and I may make a video later of this thing running to see how high, how long it takes to get a three or a four. I'm dragging right now because I'm hoping that it will like pop up beforehand. I'm going to let it run for a minute, and I'll fast forward to it. We'll see what we get. All right, so I've decided that I'm not going to sit here and just continuously capture this screen while I was trying to find a match for three. So I'm going to stop recording it, but I will take a screenshot of it at the end and see what happens. All right, so while I was editing the video, I had this running in the background minimized. And she goes, ding, 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 ding. I successfully mined a coin. So, with a difficulty of 3, it took me 35 minutes, 34.4 seconds, and 8,746 tries. It's not bad. Not great, but not bad. And if you're wondering, minimize the window. I'm running this in the emulator just so that I have a better view of it on the screen and so that it encodes better. Running, it runs on the ColecoVision and on the Atom, also in the cartridge. But when I do my video capture, I don't get as good a quality. And I wanted it to be very re readable and very clean. So I'm running it in the emulator. At normal speed, it runs at the exact same speed as the ColecoVision. There's no, it's not running any faster or any slower. It's the exact speed. So it's just a convenience on my end. And it makes it better for you to see on your end. But there we go. We mined a coin at level difficulty of 3. And I will probably let this thing run overnight and see how long it takes to mine a coin at level 4. And we'll put that at the tail end of the video after the credits. Alright, so I want to show you two Easter eggs that I put in this software. They all work by entering, entering in a word at the beginning of the hash. So the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to do the beef Easter egg. So I'm going to set this in here to the word beef. Then I'm going to press the pound sign. Then I'm just going to give it a value of 9 to give it time to work. 
And you'll notice that it immediately set the year, day, hour, minute, and second to basically 10,000 years in the future minus 30 seconds. So we're going to see what happens when we run out of time. That's what the beef Easter egg does. Shows you what happens when you run out of time. The reason I gave it 9 was if I gave it 1, it would have found a match before it ran out of time. So that's what happens when you run out of time. Hello, 10,000 years in the future. If you can read this, I hope we didn't ruin the planet. Long live the Coleco Adam. Take that, Commodore 64. Love from 2021. William Hicks, Heather Hicks, Autumn Rain Hicks. So we have that right there. Now I'll show you another Easter egg. The Easter egg locks the system up so you can't get rid of it. So you would have to reset the system and come back in. Now this Easter egg I'm going to show you is called Dead. And if you know about the Coleco Atom, you know what the significance is of the word dead beef. I could tell you what it is, but you need to be part of the club to understand it. So I put the word dead in there, as you can see. Hit the pound sign. I'm going to give it a difficulty of 9 again so that it doesn't find a match before it gets activated. And you'll notice the nonces have become 29s. And when we run out of nonces, it says, after trillions of years, we have run out of nonces. I will assume that you found a running ColecoVision on a frozen world orbiting a dead star. I hope that we as a species survived the heat death of the universe. We had such potential. Love from 2021. William Hicks, Heather Hicks, Autumn Rain Hicks. And I got mail. What was you once cute is no longer being cute. I've got mail. So there's two Easter eggs. There's a few more in there. You can play with the code and try to find them. And here's a final footnote on the Bitcoins. I left these running for almost 17 and a half hours now. As you can see up in the top left hand corner, we did mine a four difficulty Bitcoin. But we didn't get a 5 or a 6 or a 7 or an 8. If I left them running for a week, maybe I can get 5 and 6. But it's kind of fascinating. I'll go ahead and stop the mining now. Have a great day.